Are you making a lot of money from what's going on? Steve. Are you making any money from what's going on in this? You've Sorry. made no money. That's ridiculous. Have you any shareholdings or directorships in any companies that are making money? That's ridiculous. This is Tom Gilligan, the Director of Services and Head of Housing at Mayo County Council. Mr Gilligan has a direct line with Roderick O'Gorman's department and is the main man responsible for housing thousands of migrants in County Mayo. Mr Gilligan, can we have a quick word? No. Why not? It's, Im it's impossible to get to talk to you. I, I, first of all, I want to talk about the ongoing humanitarian efforts of Mayo County Council. You're aware that a lot of money has been made by, by big business around the county and around the country, yeah. We are providing a duty of care and a humanitarian response. That's what we're doing. We are, providing, we are providing a humanitarian. Why are you the only, only man with, with a direct line to the department, Roderick O'Gorman's department? Why does it all come through you? Why do the councillors have to, have to ask you? Could they, could they be informed after what you're actually doing? To, I'm the director that's leading in relation to but the, the, Yeah, but this is information that the public should have access to. You know, you, you need to be... Like, the councillors have to ask you for a report on what exactly you're doing. Yeah, and I can get that. Yeah. And you get that. You, you shouldn't have to ask for it. The, the people of Mayo should be informed as to what you're doing. And you talk about humanitarian effort. Look at the conditions out there in Brafie in that new industrial uh, retail park unit. Have you, have you seen inside it? No I'm ventilation. No comment on that. No comment on that. I, I, you you I, can't I, go on keep it making no comment. You seem, you seem very amused. I'm not amused at all. This is a very serious subject. Yeah, Absolutely it is. It is. Subject. Are you making a lot of money from what's going on? Steve. Are you making any money from what's going on in this? You've made no money. That's ridiculous. Have you any shareholdings or directorships in any companies that are making money? That's ridiculous. No? Ridiculous. It's ridiculous, is it? You were before where you're in Waterford County Council, you're involved with the uh, tourism, isn't that right? What's this done to the tourism industry here? We were talking today about uh, Keen Beach and trying to enforce bylaws um, to stop people camping overnight and we, we need because we need to care about the local people at, in Ackill. You, you, so you're worried about people camping overnight but you're not worried about dumping hundreds and thousands of people. Four and a half thousand people you've dumped in Mayo. Dumping? Yeah absolutely you're dumping. Look at the accommodation you're putting them into. They're it's substandard. You wouldn't put dogs in it. You don't care about the Irish people and you don't care about refugees or asylum seekers. No comment. Thank you. you don't. Your actions speak louder than, 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 than any words you've said. My actions speak that I'm providing duty of care and humanity. How is it a duty of care to, to put children in that situation? They're in, in rooms with no windows, no ventilation, several mattresses in one room, and partitions made of, what, plywood? What happens if a fire breaks out in one of those places? Can you answer that question? There's that, there are certs in relation to these places. I mean, I there's don't, no cert. There's know, no you cert. Don't, I don't, you there's don't no cert in several does, does, does that does that unit does that retail unit have a fire cert? You don't know what you're talking. You tell us so. Does that retail no, unit no, have, have a fire cert? You, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Tell us so. Inform us. Does does that retail I mean, park unit have a fire cert? You know, you, just answer that one question. No, no, you're, you're coming out with ridiculous does statements. Just have a fire cert. You're coming out with ridiculous fire statements. If it has a fire cert, just tell us. Does it have a fire cert? I have to go. Does it have a fire, valid fire cert? You're saying that, but you won't answer the question. Does it have a valid fire cert? That's, right. that's the only question I'm asking you. I'm on, I'm on about the, the, the unit there, the Bravey House, the owners of Bravey House have in the retail park. Certs have been provided. I, I, you're Did, coming out with a fire cert. A fire cert has been provided. So it's been si who's, who signed off on it? Chief Fire Officer. Mr. Shelvin, the, uh, Shevlin, the fire officer, have signed off on that, has he? I'm not going to comment. You're not going to comment? So you're not going to comment whether it has a valid fire cert? I'm not, I'm not going to comment on it. Lots of people He's not going to comment. Fire, you'll have blood on your He's hands. not going to comment. There you go. That's the head of housing, uh, director of services, Tom Gilligan. There you go. That's Tom Gilligan, the director of services and head of housing at Mayo County Council. He's also the founder of vacanthomes.ie. I'm sure the people of Mayo have absolutely nothing to worry about with Mr Gilligan, as we can see from his LinkedIn profile that he says, I'm passionate about getting things right first time and improving the lives of our citizens. Do you believe him?